The Passion of Joan of Arc is a film that has figured, I think, in each one of the sight and sound surveys of the ten greatest films ever made ever since it was founded. It's never been on the top of the list, but I, without checking this out, I would say that it has always figured there. In other words, it has always been regarded as a major film in its own right. The director was a Dane, Carl Dreyer, but the film was made in France. He was obviously uh, a very uh, devoted Christian uh, and all his life he wanted to make a film about the life of Jesus uh, but sadly when he died all he was able to leave was a script which I have a copy of but the film never got made but all his other films were uh, on religious topics uh, there's one called Day of Wrath uh, and even the ones that uh, did not have uh, particular biblical reference uh, did have uh, one of them for example concerns uh, a miracle of somebody returning from the dead the other thing I think one needs to uh, know about the film is that it does contain one of the greatest performances by an actress ever it was made, I think I'm right in saying 1928, so it was very, very shortly before uh, the invention of uh, a satisfactory system of sound. And uh, one can see that uh, the silent film at that time, silent is a, is a misnomer, but the, uh, the film art had reached a very high and sophisticated state and nothing illustrates this better than the Passion of Joan of Arc because you see the questions formulating in the minds of the people who are going to pose them, you see the, what uh, the question is, you then have the response of the person who is being questioned, it's all laid out in the most beautifully exquisite and uh, readily accessible form uh, and I say it is uh, defensible as a high work of art in its own right uh, and it would have been a completely different film if it had been made ten years later. It does, because the source is obviously the, the records of the trial of Joan of Arc, coincide very much with uh, Bernard Shaw's play St. Joan but it again makes an interesting contrast using the same words how uh, a very different uh, picture emerges uh, in Dreyer's hands uh, to the one also a great work of art uh, presented by George Bernard Shaw. So I think uh, The Passion of Joan of Arc is, deserves its place uh, and is, is a film of great and continuing interest.